All right, welcome to lab number two, Event Viewer Tools. The lab objective is to understand how to apply basic forensic actions on Event Viewer Log. Our lab mission is to examine the investigation process of Event Viewer by using SQL queries. You are going to need your Windows VM and your extra lab file, which should be called security.evtx, this one right here. You're also going to need to install the log parser lizard, as well as the Microsoft log parser version 2.2. .2. The links are in the lab document. So our first thing, once we get both of those tools installed, is we're going to use the log parser program to do some queries to uh, extract data from our Windows e Event Viewer exported events. So uh, what you want to do is you want to open up your command prompt, run it as an admin, or you will not have access to do this. All right. And we're going to navigate to our log parser directory. So that for me, that is program files, slash log parser. And you can see that I have copied the log here, security.evtx. Whoops. One last week, yeah, sorry, clear for PowerShell. All right, so what we wanna do now is we want to use the log parser uh, query to export some events into a easy to read CSV. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to type in log parser, and I'm going to export to the EVT format. All right, I'm going to output it to a CSV, and I'm going to select everything. That's what the star is. And I'm going to select it from security.evtx. I'm going to output it to a file called file.csv. That looks good. All right, now you can see my file has been created right here. So again, I, I exported everything from that file. You can see that uh, in the binary format is about two megs. And when I exported it to a CSV, it was about you know, 4.3 megs. So let's go ahead and open up that file. I'm going to use the, um, let's see, I will use, I'll open it with Microsoft Visual Studio Code. You can also open this up with Microsoft Excel here. So this is what it looks like. We know it is a CSV. We have our uh, columns here, comma rate separated value, but uh, I want to view it, you know, with the Excel preview. So I'm going to do this right here. And you can see I've got all of the events uh, right here. So pretty nice looking little tool. You can get this tool as well if you would like. As you can see, we got lots of event IDs. You can parse them as needed here. So first part was a success. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to use the same tool and I'm going to only export successful logons. So let's go ahead and pick back up where we left off. We've got to modify this, right? And I'm going to say where event ID equals 4624. I'm going to output that to successful logon.csv. I'm just checking my syntax here. Make sure I got everything looking good. Let's see. From security. Well, I forgot to make this into a single quote there. All right. The rest looks. Forgot quote there. Double quote. All right, let's try that. Let's see, I did, that I uh, have an extra argument at the query. Let me check my syntax again here. Let's 
So select everything from security.edtx equal quote where in fact let me uh, make this bigger there we go where event id equals quote 4624 oh i see my extra space right there that's what's going on here syntax there we go all right once I fix my syntax and got rid of that uh, extra colon, you can see my file is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and open it back up with the Visual Studio code. And I'm going to see that all we have right here are events 4624. So again, super useful tool to extract everything in a simple to read format. So we'll call that one a success. And of course, if you remember from last class, event ID 4624 are your successful logons. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to parse this down even more. And we're going to look for successful logons and logon type of rig. So let me modify my syntax here and I'm going to concatenate I'm going to join it with one more string here so message like again all this is coming from the logs so percent log on type three just looking for some matches here and Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks good. And let's export that one to log on type 3.csv. Hey, how about that? No syntax error. I took a look here. There is my log on type 3. As you can see, after further refinement, the file size has decreased from 222 kilobits to 170 kilobits. And uh, Let's go ahead and open this file up. All right, logon type 3 is now open. And let's take a look uh, right here. So there we go. We are, we are good. And it says, yeah, an account was successfully logged in. So again, we are, we are happy. So that is how you do everything with the log parser. The next part of the lab is to do the same thing with the help of a GUI using the log parser lizard. All right, so let's go ahead and get this started up here. Uh, what they want you to do is open up the actual security um, EVTX file and what you would do is you would just go to home open file and if you see it like this with their desktop just go ahead and select uh, uh, Windows event log EVTX format I already have the file opened up so I'm going to skip that here but uh, as you can see it's kind of uh, populated with this query right select top 100 um, star is everything from um, this event log file and the top 100 means select the top 100 rows. And if you run this query, you can click on right here, run. And at the bottom, you see that it is actually is um, you know parsing everything out for you. And of course, you only are limited to the first 100 rows. So simple, nice little tool there for log extraction and log filtering. The next thing that we want to look at is to, let's see, we want to look for some failed logon events. So let's go ahead and do that. I've already populated this one here, but what I'm doing here is we know successful logon is event type 4624 and failed logons are event 
uh, ID 4625. So what I've done is I'm, I'm just saying, hey, collect everything from my actual security log, right? Data source security, where even ID equals 4625. Now I'm going to run this. And you can see right here, um, I have some failed logons. And if you look at the right, you know, it can say uh, these are the events, these are the accounts that have failed. Me logging in, and most times, you know, it's me probably, you know, typing in my password wrong. There's the, there's some of the accounts on this one. Uh, Frank, there's one named student. And so, again, this computer has lots of uh, failed logons here. So, um, that's everything. We have about, what, 20, let's see, we got, you know, we got a lot of entries here, 10 to 27. Yeah, we got a lot, like 27 total. Uh, failed logons here. So, cool thing is, uh, yeah, here's the latest one at the top here, 110. That's probably me logging in, and the other ones are from previous attempts or whenever this VM was made. Okay. Uh, you can also look at system logs. So, let's go ahead and take a look at that one. Let's do, here we go. Um, System logs are useful as well. And see right here, I'm just going to select, uh, oops, there we go. I think I need to do left to right. There we go. Let's see, let me, let me cut this one out. Get it out of here. Select that, run. And again, I'm looking at my system logs this time. You can see they're coming from here. And if you scroll down, see I've got 100 system logs. Like what's going on, you know, with the health of this computer, right? These same system logs are the ones that you see from your event viewer. And if you were to expand the window logs and go to system, these are these logs right here, system logs. All right. Now, of course, uh, we can filter even further and look for certain events. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to say, okay, I want to filter down from system logs where my event ID equals 1074. And boom, there we go. We have 31 entries. And uh, saying, okay, you can see what's going on right here. We've got some uh, restarts of our computer. So again, very useful log to see what's going on, you know, with our computer being shut down. So both Microsoft Log Parser and Log Parser Lizard are super powerful tools and can help during an investigation. The more knowledge you have with SQL, the more advanced queries that you can write to help you with your investigations. And that is the end of lab number two. See you on the next one.